tuning in with me welcome and if you are a returning viewer welcome back guys i as you guys know just had my baby almost three weeks ago and um for those of you who are moms you know you kind of your hair texture tends to change depending on your nutrition and that sort of thing so my hair is a mess as you guys can see and that is why i've decided to get myself these Botox treatment or the Botox treatment and I'm gonna try and do it myself and I'll be giving you guys a review of this one as well this is the BM professional brand and it's the Botox reconstructive mask that I'll be using so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair with the clarifying uh, shampoo this is by Medi Hair. okay so it's supposed to remove any product that I might have on my hair right now and then I'll get back to you guys when I start applying this. So if you want to see the final results, keep on watching. Okay guys, so I'm back. I washed my hair with a clarifying um, shampoo. And um, I let it dry. I had some things I needed to do. So my hair is basically, I would say 90% dry. Just a bit wet over here where the palm, palm is at or the hair tie whatever you call it where you're from Ooh. so the only thing with this clarifying shampoo my hair is quite tangled up right now because i just let it dry like that and obviously the purpose of the clarifying shampoo is to take off any product that you might have on your hair so my hair was stripped from all the products it had on or I didn't really have a lot on probably just heat protect and that sort of thing but I did not no it was just a serum sorry because I did not use heat on my hair um, I just washed my hair and then I made the braids for yeah now that in this time with baby I would just wash my hair and braid it because when you have a newborn I'm sure you know it's just <laughs> it's a bit difficult you don't get time to do your hair all the time so I would just wash it while I'm in the shower let it dry like I did now and then braid it so it's a bit tangled up because this doesn't have any like smoothing effect or that sort of thing the shampoo it's only to remove like products and that sort of thing so it's left my hair in a bit of a state because I didn't comb it after I out of the shower which I usually do when I apply more products but because I didn't add conditioner I usually comb it out when I have conditioner on as well which I did not do because there was no application of a conditioner okay so I'm gonna be going in with the Botox this is what it looks like I did show you previously I'm excited and nervous because I've never done anything like this before um, I'm really really hoping that this will improve the state of my hair which has become very dry since after baby and um, I am still taking my vitamin supplement I am I won't say eating the healthiest I do eat veggies and fruits we do a lot of smoothies as well my husband makes amazing smoothies even though it's winter we still do our smoothies now and then not as often as in summer though but i'm eating a lot of like winter fruits and things so we are trying and obviously veggies we do a lot of veggies i made butternut soup today and baked bread that's not healthy but i love it so yeah okay i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make these parts section it off right i think that will just speed things up for me in terms of applying the product okay guys so i've just taken a few minutes to Part my into four sections and I put the two up because I'm gonna start at the back. 
I'm hoping that this project is not very strong because I have very sensitive hands. I actually have a type of eczema, so I can't use dishwashing liquids and soap um, detergent like products for clothes and things I need to do it in the machine. Um, otherwise my skin starts literally peeling coming off so my hands are really sensitive like that and I don't have any gloves unfortunately so I'm really hoping and praying that this product is not very strong. Um, I think I need to put some light on for you guys so that you guys can see how this goes because it's starting to get dark, it's winter so it gets dark early. Um, but let's see how it goes. Right, so I'm going in with the product now. Let's see what this one looks like, what we're dealing with. Oh, it's closed. That's a good thing. We want it to be sealed. So like I said, I hope it's not strong and I hope it smells nice as well. I hope it's not a stinky substance that's going to smoke up the place. So when I Google about the product, they said it's not supposed to give you like that overwhelming effect like the... Um, Brazilian does in terms of heat, applying heat and smoking up the place. I'm hoping and praying that's true. Oh gosh, I just broke off the thing. How am I gonna tear this off now though? Wow, this is a good emission. <laughs> Let me try and pull this off. It's really stuck to the guys. It's like on on. I wonder, can't I just cut off at the ridges over here? Okay, I've made an incision. Oh, it smells nice, guys. That's a good thing. Alright. Let me try and pull it off like this. So I've got an applicating brush. Okay guys, so I'm down to my last piece. Oh, to be honest, there is a bit of a smell in my hands are starting to burn. So I'm not very really impressed with the fact that they said there isn't the smell and there is because I'm sitting in a... Yeah, I can open the sliding door over here, but um, it's night time, so I have my light on, my lights on and stuff, and it's quite cold. going over here because um, like I said not all the information you know a lot of people do that with marketing they tend to over promise and under deliver so I'm just really hoping that this product is gonna do as well as they claim because um, yeah, there is a smell like I said I'm just trying to work with you because my hands are burning but not it's not a crazy burn it's just I can feel it's chemicals but then again my hands are very sensitive like I said so could just be my hands being my hands or acting up again um, yeah, I shouldn't be doing this 
mom, when you see this, I'm sorry. And even babe, my husband, when he sees this, he's going to scold. Because he knows I have sensitive hands. He's gonna be like, why didn't you put on gloves? But I only have like gloves that I use for dishes and then we have gloves for the garden, that sort of thing. But I don't have chemical or gloves with chemicals like this. Because I don't usually do things like this. It's my first time trying this. But um oh. Yeah, I gotta get done guys so I'm gonna fast sorry fast forward through this video again and then just try and um, yeah I'll chat to you guys in the end of what my next step will be okay guys so I've got my hair all done and then I combed it out I'm going to shove my hair in a shower can right to make a bun guys <laughs> okay so I'm gonna make the bun and then I'm gonna shove this in there like so alright that's good and I got myself one of these hair dye cat things it's called a hair dye attachment So it looks like a little space hat. <laughs> Cute. With a little funnel. Like this. So this is the hat. Okay. Oh, so cool. I see it's got little holes in for the, the heat to come through. So that's awesome. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this around my head. Basically what I'm going to do, I need to heat up the product um, because it works well with heat. You don't have to do this. They actually just recommend that you keep a shower cap on and leave it for like 20 minutes. I'm going to heat it up as well because I really want the product to penetrate through the cuticles. So I'm going to heat up my hair. Okay guys, so I've heated up this hair for about 10 minutes now. I don't know if you guys love that feeling when your, heat, your head is getting warmed up. I absolutely love it. I feel like I can fall asleep. Unfortunately, this attachment it doesn't stay on my hair dryer. It slips off because it's a really shiny, slippery type of material, my hair dryer. So it tends to pop off. So I had to hold it so I couldn't like just hold it and be like uh, like I wanted to but it's so nice and when you and the snack it's really nice as well my nuts are done guys so please don't judge I've moved over to sweets really bad but they're so good <laughs> so I've heated up the and I'm supposed to rinse it off I, there is something I need to do I'm actually supposed to be in a meeting right now I'm really late my husband's already logged on and is attending the zoom meeting 
I will need to log in as well and um, we'll go join him basically and once I'm done I will actually go take a shower to get the product off my head so I'm gonna have it on for longer than they recommend like 20 minutes and I've had it on for 10 the zoom meeting is about an hour and I'm already like 15 minutes late so I'm gonna have it on for longer which I actually don't mind because my hair was in such a state I love this thing just because of the way it like heated my hair it's nice and warm right now and that's what you want you want the product to seep into your hair so like I said I'm gonna go and attend the meeting quickly then I'll hop in the shower and I'll check in with you guys afterward hey guys so I've taken a shower and I have rinsed the product or most of it off my hair I did not use a shampoo I just used warm water so as you guys can see it's looking nice and shiny right so what I need to do I need to so I'm going to dry my hair first flat iron it and then we'll see the final results So this is the final look. I like it guys. Let me just so you guys can see. Guys, so 
I'm happy with the final results. I think it looks really good. It's healthy, shiny, it's not dry, it's soft. It's not tangling up as easily as it did when it was so dry before I done this. So obviously the true test will be once I wash my hair again. So like I've mentioned earlier, I did rinse off most of the product, but not all of it, because I only used water, so I didn't use another shampoo, I just used water. <coughs> so sorry, the fumes are still a bit in my room. So I'm really happy with how this turned out, guys. Wow, look how red my face is. I haven't blow dried my hair in forever, so this is why I'm so red. And it's quite late. I'm quite tired um, obviously you guys know I have newborn babies so I'm quite tired I didn't take a nap and you'll be waking up soon for his next feed so I probably gonna have a cup of coffee right now the time right now is 10 28 believe it or not so it's quite late but we don't care we want to look good I'm so happy my hair is done Thank you so much for watching this video guys if you've not yet subscribed to my channel please do so now also hit the bell so that you get notified when i do upload new content thank you once again and i'll catch you in the next video